Hello everyone, my name is Adiko Zaman and in this quick video I am going to discuss about CloudWatch Insights. So CloudWatch Insights is a very uh, interesting feature of Amazon CloudWatch that we can use to search and analyze our log data of any kind of AWS service. Right now in this video I am going to just discuss about Amazon Connect service and we are going to monitor the Amazon Connect logs uh, through CloudWatch Insight. Okay? So let me give you a scenario. Uh, in different companies, uh, especially in the large company uh, there there could be many production systems and on, on, on every production system there could be thousands or even millions of records and to analyze that it's very hard for a human to analyze that log data you know that and amazon cloud version inside is very helpful for that you can query your logs millions of log files and you can query your specific data and you can analyze that through cloud version inside so let's jump into the console page and I will show you first you have to sign into the Amazon and then go to the CloudWatch service then what you need to do is to get some insight of your log data of any service you must go to the log section and in there you will find the insight section so in Amazon CloudWatch insight section we will uh, we have a different sections here I we can make some queries and we can uh, search out our, our all data uh, of any specific uh, uh, services. So the service we, which we will select here uh, right now uh, in this region in London region I have only one AWS service which is Amazon Connect and I have created two instances of Amazon Connect so th that's why this is listing here. If I have other services uh, in this uh, London region then they will also be listed here and we can analyze their log data too. So right now I'm just using uh, I have just created a, a Amazon Connect instance in this London region so I can analyze that so my Amazon Connect instance is 1pv6 I'm just going to analyze this okay so I will mark this check so that that I can analyze it and then I can I can write some queries here so that we can analyze the all the log data so if you are interested to see your log data you can just go to log groups and you will find all the logs of your amazon connect instances there so i'm just going to inside so that i can analyze that so first of all you have to uh, pick your uh, service okay from this drop down option and then you have to write a query to analyze your data so the query which i am going to um, apply here is this query uh, and what does this query do uh, this query filter out all the calls which are failed to transfer okay so uh, this query is for analyzing failed transfers okay so if I, if I apply this query there it will get all the calls which are failed to uh, fail uh, fail uh, to other agents okay uh, let me paste this here okay so as you can see uh, you can learn this query it is uh, I, i'm not going to discuss about how this query works but uh, this is just a query you can find if you want to help in queries you can go here and you can find all the related things and you can learn how you can write the queries so this query is about how can we identify which calls are failed uh, when we are uh, when our agents were making calls so to identify that and we can analyze and we can get all that we can run this query so let me run this query so I have run this query and here I have mentioned only for one hour in in, in last one or if there is failed uh, if any call failed then it will show here but you know that in in last previous one hour there is no any call which is failed so let me make it for custom so that we can get so I am going to make it for four weeks. So in in last four weeks, if uh, any call fails, though it will show you this query will get that call and it will show here in the log section. So let's run this query again. Oh great! As you can see that. So in last four weeks, okay, in last four weeks uh, on our Amazon Connect instance, following are the uh, log. Following is the log data that. Uh, shows us that the following ID customer ID following customer has failed to transfer the calls so if we want to may get some more details of a specific log then we can click on this little icon uh, triangle and then we can see all the information later so you can see that uh, here we have one important information is contact ID so we can use this contact ID to search other sources so you as you see that this is very interesting things that we can make different queries we can according to our need we can 
make some queries and we can run that queries and we can get insights here we can find all the logs that are here so it's very interesting things okay so this was the first query which i had made and uh, let me show you another example okay uh, so this query is for how if our you know, uh, calls fail to transfer and the second thing is uh, as i mentioned you uh, we can find the customer id there so now let's run this command so what this uh, query so uh, what this query does uh, we can use this query to uh, see the full track of the call right so sometimes we sometimes we need the more detail of the uh, our agent so okay so we need this query uh, you can uh, for copy this query let me copy this query so i will show you okay uh, how i can okay yes so this query will uh, give us the detail of tra trace of a call okay so we will just pick up the uh, id from uh, here okay uh, we will can we can just pick any customer id here so i am going to pick this one so this will give us the uh, record trace record of this customer so i will just paste this query here let me remove this and okay yes it's here okay oh great so as you can see let me run this query and it will give us the trace of that customer uh, okay as you can see so all the tracing of this customer id are listed here okay so loop prompts so here we have also got another uh, third option that is contact flow module type and now we are also getting the contact flow types too what type of contact flow we have used uh, okay you can see set queue or we can you we can see play prompts and something that goes uh, uh, false and timeout and we can get all the tracing of that customer that what it does okay so you can see that uh, these are the trace of all the customer so this is the second example and we have another example too uh, if we want to analyze so in this example uh, we can search analyze your log data so you can filter flows with errors with below query okay sometimes we will need to filter flows uh, okay with errors like sometimes our uh, contact flows have some error so we want to uh, analyze that what happens and we can search that by using this query so quick amazon cloud watch insight is just to analyze and to know your uh, failures in your any service i am just using amazon connect so i can analyze that so these are some of the queries which i am making here okay control v and i can find out uh, what are the we can filter flows with errors what flows are have got some errors oh you can see that uh, there is no any error let me run it again okay so there is no any data so there are if, if something goes wrong Jaguar, you can check it out so in similarly we can uh, we can export the results through csv file to through amazon Connect, as you can see here so we can export results okay we can download a csv file and stuff like that so this is very interesting things so this is all about amazon cloudwatch insight you can analyze your data you can view and you can do whatever you want to do according to your need so thank you so much this is all about amazon cloudwatch insight